السلام But I was surprisingly and astonishingly shocked by some of the stories that I read about these same people that I learned about in Sunday school. Um, just for instance, and, and this is a big testament to why Allah kept sending us prophets and why Islam was sent as a complete and perfected deen with the Quran. If you read about Noah in the Bible, there is the story about Noah saving uh, uh, humanity from the flood with an ark and all of that. There is this in the Bible. There's other, another aspect to the story of Noah that, that not many people know about unless they actually take time to open a Bible. This will not be preached from any pulpit anywhere. Is that the, the Bible says that Noah was an alcoholic. This is the Bible's portrayal of Noah or Nuh alayhi salam. That he was an alcoholic. He was a drunkard. This is the word used in the Bible. That he was a man given to alcohol. And <clears throat> I'm a psychology major and my, my, my uh, field of specialty is mental illnesses and, and alcoholism is one of those, is, is a mental illness. And I know from seeing alcoholism's effect on one of my close uh, friend's parents, uh, I know that someone who is truly addicted to alcohol and if Noah lived for so long addicted to alcohol, he was seriously addicted to alcohol, um, it is hard for someone addicted to alcohol to hold down a nine to five job working at McDonald's flipping hamburgers, much less construct an ark to save humanity from a flood that's never happened. So that stopped me for a moment in my tracks and I said no.